Hey guys, welcome to game two between Seriosity and Striker. This time we have Seriosity in the upper right hand corner as the red Protoss, upper left hand corner. We have Striker as the blue Zerg. Game one, Striker showing that he has macro chops and really just getting all sorts of hatcheries and establishing his economy with, I mean, just really an exclamation point on the amount of drones he had and just overwhelming amount of units pressing in all the way to Seriosity's natural expansion. Seriosity having trouble getting army control capping that forth and I think Stryker just showing that like okay if you want to play a macro game I will win that macro game heads up and I'm wondering if he's got something else to show us this time Stryker has a lot of I feel like the North American Zergs over this I don't know if it's just with Crossy being in the mixture of everything and or study of play or Gypsy kind of organizing all of that or all of the above or just the intelligence of uh, the players there Hawk and Stryker um, yeah, just amazing. But it seems like all of the North American Zergs have peaked up and really ended up showing an, a massive improvement between the last season of BSL and this season. And I'm hoping that continues. Probe Scout getting first scout on Striker. Striker has opened up within Overpool, it looks like. I think he knows... We'll see if he bothers with the drone scout. Might allow his zerglings to do the scouting, potentially. This overlord, as it moves across, is going to catch that pylon. Seriosity hanging out at the natural to go ahead and potentially blockade that base. But he's, in the meantime, saving up for a 12 hatchery, which is a very risky play. So the drone here... Poking away at this. The spawning pool's finished. Actually, it looks like Striker's not even going to bother engaging and is starting to move and actually repositioning it looks like he's now going to move to the nine o'clock base seriosity opening up with a 12 nexus the nexus has been spotted and the forge now plopping down but this is with the spawning pool finished so six zerglings being produced seriosity was expecting the hatchery to be built before the zerglings now wandering up and he's going to be in dire straits potentially to stop these Zerglings. We will see. The Zerglings are loose. The Forge is just finishing. So maybe with a cannon plopped right now and probes pulling off the line, this will hold. Striker still has a backup plan of that hatchery at the nine o'clock location, probably a follow up hatchery on top of it. Double cannons are being planted. But the probes, yeah, need to shimmy and they need to get in the way. The Zerglings. Making their way across. The probe trying to blockade as much as possible. Looks like it's delaying that rear. But the photon cannon not up. And the probes are not in position to defend the cannon. Disaster. So taking out some probes on top of everything else. That first cannon is down. They can even get on top of that second cannon. And potentially wipe it out. It looks like they're instead going to go ahead and take out some additional probes. And wander into the main. So two zerglings make it through. Sorry, three zerglings make it through. A second Zergling went ahead, and Seriosity's just going to call GG right there, knowing that there are plenty more games to engage in this set of seven out of a best of seven of seven sets. So calling it there, again saving stamina, moving on to the next match, but Striker currently up 2-0. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.